Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a TBR video for the reading rush. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it was going to be a pain filming in front of my window. There's just tractors going past all the time. So if you're unsure as to what the reading rush is, it is a week-long readathon from the 20th of July to the 26th. So it starts tomorrow, so I know this video is up late, but I wasn't sure where I was going to do it and then I caved in and I was like, I'm going to do it. So here we are. There are seven challenges that you can complete. You can mix them up or you can do them separately. I will probably mix them up because I'm working during the week, so I don't think I'll be able to read seven books in a week. I don't think I've ever read seven books in a week. I mean, I don't think I've ever read more than two books in a week, but we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot so there's a lot of interesting challenges to complete like i said i'll probably mix and match some of the challenges because i will be working and i won't have the time to just read throughout the whole week which i wish i could but i have booked monday and tuesday off work so hopefully i can get a large chunk of my reading done then but as for the tbr i am I've chosen a couple of books per challenge because I'm a mood reader and like depending on my mood I will read a certain book and if I have a TBR I won't want to stick to it and I won't want to read so I have lots and lots of different options to choose from. We're just going to get into it because it's going to be a really long TBR if I keep on waffling. So the first challenge is to read a book with with a cover that matches the colour of your birthstone. My birthstone is ruby because I was born in July. I'm a Cancer, if anyone would like to know. There you go. Um, so, I have lots of red books and we're just going to go through them now. So the first book that I have is An Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. This book is about this guy called Colin not my dog, Colin Singleton, and he seems to only date girls named Catherine, hence the name of the book. Um, he has dated 19 Catherines and been dumped 19 times, obviously. And then he finds himself on a road trip across America, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I imagine it's America. And he is trying to find the perfect girl and to prove that he can stay in a relationship. So that is the first book. The next book that I have is a classic and it is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. This book, um, I believe most people read this book at school, but we never got to. I think my brothers read it at school, but we didn't read it for some reason. For those who don't know, this book is about these schoolboys and they're on a school trip and the plane crashes into a desert island and they're all I think only a few of them survive and they have this is just their story of survival I believe I have wanted to read this book for a long time ever since my brother started reading it and he started talking to us about it I was like wow that sounds really interesting so we have Lord of the Flies. I wanted to include uh, shorter books because I think reading large books during a readathon isn't a good idea because you wouldn't be able to get much done. So I have included Scott Pilgrim, uh, what is this one called? Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life, which is the first Scott Pilgrim comic book. I have seen the film of Scott Pilgrim. Uh, it's called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World really good I really enjoy it um, but I've never gotten around to reading the comics so we have this the next book that I have is kind of bending the rules because it's more burgundy than it is uh, like ruby coloured but oh wow um, and it is with the fire on high by Eli Elizabeth Acedio a yeah I think that's how you say her last name I remember Lisa saying her last name and I was like oh that's how you say it uh, I think that's how you say her last name but don't quote me on that this book has intrigued me from the very start if you watched my last video um, I got really excited about this book it's about this girl um, she is 17 years old with a two year, old, two year old daughter and she has big dreams of becoming a chef yeah this is a very high contender on my list even if 
it is kind of bending the rules. The next book I probably won't be reading because it is giant and it would take me more than a week to read and it is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. This book is a giant. I don't even know how many pages it is. But the pages are really thin and it scares... Oh, okay. 803 pages, but still, that is... That's a big old boy. Um, can't guarantee I'll be reading this during the readathon. The next book that I have is Illuminae. In my last video, I said that it was about aliens. It's not about aliens. I don't know where I got that from, but it is about these two corporations and it's in what year is it based in? 2575. So very far in the future, but these two corporations are at war and they're planning to take over the world. And lastly, we have a book again, which is kind of bending the rules, but it has a tiny bit of red at the top and it is Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. Great time for motorbikes to drive past. This book, uh, I think I've read this before, but I can't really remember it. So I've added it to my TBR again because I think this book is based on Tom and G. If you don't know who Tom and G are, Tom, Tom Fletcher from McFly and G. Rana Fletcher. Even though they fell in love when they were kids, uh, I feel like this book. Um, deals with a lot of things that G had to deal with when Tom became famous and yeah I'm very excited to read this. The next challenge that we have is read a book that starts with the word the. I have quite a lot for this so I'm not going to go into details for each book because there's quite a few but uh, I had quite a few on my bookshelf which I don't think I had like I was looking through and I was like oh I don't think many books started with the word the but apparently they do. So the first book that I have is The Creakers by Tom Fletcher. This book should be an excellent book for the readathon because it's, I feel like it's younger than middle grade. I think it's like an actual children's book, um, which is good because I'll be able to get through it quite quickly, I would hope. Uh, I got this because Tom wrote it and I love Tom and I'm gonna support whatever he does. Um, this book is about these monsters that live under your bed, I believe. Um, which sounds very exciting so chances are I will probably read this because yeah. Next up we have The Hunger Games, a rather battered copy of The Hunger Games. I've had this book forever but I don't think I ever even finished it. Um, so The Hunger Games. Next up we have The Hobbit, uh, I don't really need to explain The Hobbit, it's a part of the Lord of the Rings franchise and Again, this is quite a short children. I think it's a children's book. Mm, it might just be YA, but it's quite short, so an excellent book for the readathon. Next, we have a book by one of my favourite authors, and it is The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Not everyone has to be the chosen one. When you're not an indie kid fighting zombies or whatever the new thing is with blue lights and death. What if you're like Mikey, what, who just wants to graduate before someone blows up high school again? Sometimes you just have to discover how an ordinary life can be extraordinary. Sounds like a coming of age story that I am all about and I'm excited and in case you didn't know, I mean I seem to mention it every single video, Patrick Ness is my favourite, so next book that we have is another book that has been on my TBR for like the longest time but I never got around to reading it and it is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I always seem to call it The Seven and a Half Deaths but I think that's another book uh, written by the same author. But this book is a murder mystery. The next book that I have is The Upside of Falling by Alex Light. I did a little research for my last video and this book was actually a Wattpad story and it got published into a real life book which is pretty cool. We have another book about amnesia and it is The One Memory of Flora Banks. Flora um, has amnesia and she just doesn't remember anything like that's what amnesia is, Lily, well done. And one day she kisses this guy and the next day she remembers it and she's never been able to remember anything before 
and then she goes to find the guy and he's gone and if that doesn't make you want to read that that sounds quite interesting and I get this could be another contender for the book uh, for the readathon quite short so yeah the next book is The Diviners by Libba Bray I was actually going to save this book for Halloween and I think I still might because again quite a beefy book and probably not the best for a readathon but in case I want to read it it's here <laughs> the last book that I have for this category is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins uh, this is a thriller um, it will be included in one of my other categories uh, but yeah moving on to the next category we have uh, a book that is inspired by a movie you've already seen uh, this one I found quite hard because I couldn't think of any books that I'd seen that I'd read that I hadn't already read but I've seen the movie for them but I had a look on my bookshelf and there were a few so the first book is one of my all time favourite films and it is Coraline I bought this book last year to read on Halloween but I never got around to do it because we were moving my bedroom around at that sort of time so I have the book uh, this is a very good contender because again it's quite short the writing's quite big it's a children's book so it should be I should be able to fly through this and I will also enjoy it because it's one of my favourite films the next book is If I Stay by Gail Foreman this book was recommended to me by Charlie before I was even friends of her when I was just a little fangirl of her channel and uh, she used to love this series like she'd always talk about it and I was like oh I'm gonna read it but I don't think I ever got around to reading them I think I might have read this one but I don't think I read the second one but I haven't seen the second film but I've seen this film so <laughs> The next two books that I have for this challenge are ones that I've already discussed so I can cross them over if I want to and it is The Hobbit and The Hunger Games. I have seen both these films and I've enjoyed them a lot. I haven't seen any of the rest of The Hunger Games so we only have the first one and I don't think I've seen any of The Lord of the Rings but I have seen The Hobbit so yes the next category that I have is to read it book outside your house now this one's going to be a bit tricky because obviously COVID-19 is going around and there's a global pandemic and we're not really supposed to leave the house so if it's nice I will go down to the park or in my garden to read but if not I have a trick and I don't know if this is allowed but I will put on some music that's like outside and I will have the window open but if it's all right weather I will go outside but if not there's not much I can do and obviously I can't really go to like a library or anything because there's none open at the moment so yeah <laughs> the books for this I've chosen quite short books because again I don't want to be outside for too long and catch the virus um, two of them I've already mentioned so you have Coraline and Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little World Oh, Precious Little Life, sorry. And then we also have Heartstopper, which is probably the book that I am going to read. It is a graphic novel about these two guys called Charlie. Charlie and Nick. And this is a story of them falling in love. One of them isn't out yet, but the other is. And yeah, I'm really excited to read this because it looks so cute. The next category is one that I'm actually going to do in my blog. I'm doing a weekly blog um, and it is the first book that I touch. So I'm going to put loads of books on my bed and then just close my eyes and pick one. Um, but I won't do that now. I'll do that in the vlog when I get around to that challenge. So the next category is to read a book genre that you've always wanted to read more of and my genre is thriller slash horror so I've put merged two sort of together but most of the time they're put into one category so uh, the first book that I probably won't be reading because it is giant and I can't be dealing with it and it is It by Stephen King uh, I do have actually have the book up there but I forgot to get it down and it's too high up and I can't get it now but <laughs> um, I have seen the two most recent films so like the remakes of them and I really like them like I don't like scary things but 
I liked them because they were quite funny and yeah I, I think I'd like the book uh, my auntie was saying to get into more Stephen King so that's what I want to do because I find I like scary stuff but I can't deal with films that have jump scares because oh, my anxiety goes through the roof so <laughs> so I like reading about scary stuff and listening to scary stuff just not watching because I'm a wuss the next book again is one on my kindle so i'll put a little screenshot of the thing here and it is the shining uh, this book's quite short just under 400 pages i think it's like 370 or something again that's quite a good contender it's quite short and they also seem to be books a lot faster when i'm reading on my kindle or on my ipad so the shining is a good contender the next book is one we've already mentioned people outside my window the next book i have already mentioned and it is the girl on the train by paula hawkins again this is one that i can cross over so if i wanted to do two challenges in one which i probably will do because i won't have time to do all seven challenges but yes and lastly we have gone girl uh this was a book that i got for my birthday and i'm very excited to read this but again it's quite big the writing is quite small so this probably won't make it into the video <laughs> and lastly we are on to the last category and it is to read a book uh, based in a different continent to where you live um, so I'm from the UK if you couldn't tell so I am from Europe there are a lot of books when you type in like travel books a lot of them are books that go to Europe I've based them around America and so the first book is another book that I've already mentioned and it is With the Fire on High. Uh, this book is based in Connecticut, I believe, um, somewhere like there. And that's sort of area. I read it on Google and I was like, that will do. Uh, so yeah, Connecticut. The next book is Little Fires Everywhere and this book is based in Cleveland and again we have another crossover and it is The Diviners and this is based in New York City. So I have quite a good selection of books to choose from, um, definitely something to fit each mood that I may be in next week. Um, I will be doing a weekly vlog like I said but I can't guarantee that I'll read a lot of books because I will be working and also I'm quite a slow reader anyway but I do have Monday and Tuesday off so I have two days to get a lot of reading done so I probably read like the bigger books then and then the shorter books towards the end of the week <sighs> so I'm very excited you will see that vlog on either Saturday or Sunday probably Sunday if I'm being honest but yeah I am so excited to read uh, do the reading rush I've never successfully completed a readathon before so this should be interesting but gonna give it my best shot yeah I will see you all next week with the vlog bye